This is Amy M. Burns from amymburns.com and author of the new publication, Using Technology with Elementary Music Approaches, published by Oxford University Press and available from Oxford and Amazon today. In today's episode, we're going to do a fun spotlight activity that you can use in Seesaw or in Google Slides. First, I'll begin with Seesaw and then show it in Google Slides. This activity is a kind of a fun way to assess students in reading and performing rhythm patterns. So if you have been using play-along videos throughout the year and now you want to assess and you have to grade and you need to show that assessment, you can do this as long as they are have access to a devices. It can be done on an iPad or a Chromebook or laptop or desktop. So click like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, join me each week as we go through fun activities, and let's get started. We're going to first start in Seesaw. To create this activity in Seesaw, I credit Chris Shiner for this idea. Chris Shiner has a YouTube channel and he is a Seesaw in Google Slides and master of so many of like really cool tips and tricks for both programs. And now he does Seesaw PD as well. So definitely follow him in, on YouTube and check out his channel. So to create this spotlight and record rhythm patterns here in Seesaw, we're gonna go over to activities and create a new activity. We're going to add a template and go into drawing. Here, I decided to put a background of music staff. I can also add the, the treble or bass clef here as well. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to create a box that I'm going to put the rhythm in. And this activity is all about ordering. And even when you think you've ordered it right, you probably are still going to have to reorder some of the elements. So I want a black box first because the rhythm patterns are going to have black and white notes. So they need to hide and the black box is the way they'll hide. I will lock it and it's there. Now I need rhythm patterns. So there's a few ways to do this. One way I highly recommend is to go to midnightmusic.com.au and just Google the free notation library. Katie Wardrobe, who runs and owns that site, uh, has given you free notation. And there are all these graphics with transparent backgrounds and you can create rhythm patterns from them. So if you have the time, grab those free notation files and definitely check out her website. I will disclose I work for her. It's an amazing website, it's an amazing community but she gives you those notation files for free. If you need something really, really quick, I would suggest rhythmrandomizer.com. This is absolutely free. And you can go into the settings and set your time signature and set your note selection. For example, today I want random rhythm patterns of half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. I can come back here and hit new rhythm pattern. And as I go through, I can find the rhythm pattern I would like to use because it's random. And then if I want this rhythm pattern, all I have to do is take a screenshot. So regardless of the device you're using, they can take screenshots, most of them can. So you would use your device's screenshot tool to create this rhythm, or take a shot of this rhythm. So I've taken the screenshot. The screenshot will have this white background, but in order for this to disappear into the black box, I will need it to have a transparent background. So I will go into remove.bg. As you can see, I've been using it a lot today. I'm going to drag that screenshot into remove.bg. And if you can't tell, there's a little yellow half like quarter circle there. And that is because I'm using Loom and the spotlight is on in Loom. That won't be an issue with your screenshot. But if it's, this is an issue, go into the edit tool Make sure you're in Erase, and then just erase it, and then download. This is great, as if it didn't clear it correctly, you do have the tools to correct it. Now I'm going to take that and put it right here. You notice now that the background is transparent. I'm going to move it into the box. Now, this is interesting. Though it looks like it is ordered or layered above, you definitely still have to tell it to bring it to the front. Now that it's there, I'm going to lock it. 
If for some reason it's still not working, just make sure you bring this to the front and that the black box is in the background. As I said before, this is all about ordering or layering. Now here comes the spotlight tool. We're going to use a circle and make it yellow. Now when you bring, see it, did, it still has this issue. I don't know what it is, maybe it's with the locking, but again, just go over here and bring it to the front. And there you go. Even the half notes don't really show up that much. If we lock it, it still works. So again, sometimes even though I made sure that this is above the black box and then I bring on the spotlight, sometimes you just have to make sure that you order it correctly. That's all. And it's very simple to do in those style tools. So as the activity, what I would do is take something like my little teacher icon right here. From another activity, I'm going to copy and paste it over here. And then you notice that that has already directions written in, but that's okay. I can go into the shape tool and grab the little quotation bubble and put it right here. Then I lock that and then I double click. That will bring out my text tool. Of course, I don't like the um, outline, so I will go into the styles to correct that. Now, I like to put in icons here. For example, press the microphone. So when I do that, there are ways to bring up an emoji keyboard, and for a Mac, it's Control Command Spacebar, and it brings up the emoji keyboard. So I like to bring up the emoji keyboard and say click microphone, use, and again we can find a circle in there. Might be in one of my recent ones, yep. And use to find and perform patterns. Then Click, and again, go into your emoji keyboard to submit. Now we'll take this and resize it so it fits the bubble, and lock it. And that's how you create the activity. I would also cut and paste this and put it right here in the instructions. So the instructions are there as well as in the template. And that's a fun little activity. Now, how do you do this in Google Slides? So I'm gonna bring it over to Google Slides here. In Google Slides, the same thing goes. You make the background black, and then you bring in the patterns. And doing the same thing, I did rhythm, rhythm randomizer and then remove.bg to take out the background. Now over here, I use the shape tool to create and group together these three shapes of an oval, a triangle, and this um, cone so that when they moved it, it revealed the rhythm. Now how do you have them record here? Well, as I say here, use your screen recording tool to record yourself finding and performing the rhythm patterns on the slide. So for example, I'm using Loom right now, but my students have Chromebooks, so they're using Screencastify. What if you are using a, an iPad? Then use the screen recording tool built into the iPad and have them just move the flashlight. Go, oops, I found it. Okay, rest, 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 TT or toddy, or do day. I mean, whichever pattern you use, go for it. And this is a great assessment tool. Again, you have to assess your remote learning, your hybrid learning, your learning with in, in person, but with a lot of restrictions. This is a great tool. If they have one-to-one -one devices, they can just access this from their Google Classroom or this from their Seesaw Library um, activities. and they can record themselves. Again, here, you just use the microphone tool. Here, you use a screen recording tool and then submit it to you.
Earth or turn it in into Google Classroom. So these are two ways to assess it in a fun way where they're using a spotlight to find the rhythm patterns, perform them, record them, and send them back to you. I hope that this helps. Have a great first week back if you're coming back off a break. Um, if you're on holiday because you are now in summer and not winter, I envy you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful long holiday.